Uh, all right, so <laughs> yeah, uh, say hi to YouTube, Nick. Uh, all right, you ready? Yeah. We just, uh, I've gotten to this habit, Nick, where I talk to the camera. I don't know how many of the videos you've watched, like, but I do, <laughs> yeah, I do like a lot of like, yeah, I mean, I record like four videos a day, so I definitely don't. Yeah expect you to watch all of them but uh and like most of the time they're super boring <laughs> it's like literally like me going the eight blocks between work and home and nothing happens like because but you said you don't have time to edit them, right well yeah i mean i could i could only upload the ones where there's something interesting i could do that but it's like uh maybe i missed something that's interesting you know i don't really know like what so I don't know, like what I, what I tend to do is if I do think there's something interesting, I will actually make a, a title for it. But most of them are, um, are just like the, the official or like the automatic like GoPro um, name. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Um, but I was kind of thinking this would be like the worst portion. Um, Uploading interesting videos, but rather like you know how YouTubers they like cut out parts of the video. Yeah. And they like. Yeah. But <clears throat> it's fine for now. Like, I mean, do you have any followers? Well, I mean, I have 17, but I had 16 when I started, and then you you were the 17th. So, um. You all right? Yeah. You know, someone told me to like switch into higher gear when it's slippery. When it's what? Switch into higher gear when it's slippery. Oh, um. I mean, the key thing I think is just to keep going. Like, if you stop, you're gonna get into a, a situation where you know it's gonna be hard to get out of it but if you just keep moving forward then you'll just cut through it You have bigger tires than me, Nick. <laughs> Just go. It's not. You j turn, turn the power down. What, what power did you have it on? Yeah, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, so the thing about that is you're not in control. So like, you can feel the slipperiness and just like you, you know like with your arms you can just like yeah. you know steer but when you have the electric assist on then that takes the the human element out of it so yeah you should be able to just like go through this stuff and like almost going faster is better because yeah because you're gonna cut through it if you stop then you'll get in a situation where you can't you know you can't handle it but um you just push.
Do you want to just go west? Is it going to be like this? I have no idea. I haven't been there. It's not in the woods, so I don't think so. Where does the trail to the west go, or where does this go? Where does this trail go? This goes to Egan. Um, but what I was going to do is when we, you know that bridge we went across that one time? Yeah. Instead of turning right towards Egan, I was going to turn left and go towards St. Paul. Oh, uh, yeah, we can go. We can try. I mean, yeah. Let's see how it goes. There's no still alternative going all the way back. No, nah, there we can go we can turn uh left to DQ and then um uh that goes like around the lakes basically. Oh so So I imagine that the lakes are plowed. Yeah. This is a lot better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. So I didn't think this would be passable at all. Like, this is nothing. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of worried when it was like slippery. Yeah. And there was like a... Like the road was It's exactly how it's supposed. <laughs> yeah, but you can't like adjust automatically like into like instinctually in your car like you can on the bike. What was about that? Um, you can still like adjust the car using brakes and yeah and... right 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 but here you have to use your abs to like right. maintain balance and stuff and you can feel it so you're going to adjust a lot more quickly on the bike than you are on the car also you're going a lot more slowly so that helps but I feel like it's probably better up at the trailhead because like more people were like, oh yeah, we can do this. And then people have turned around. That's my guess. I think we should just turn around if you're gonna go that slow. <laughs> Is there a person? Huh? Is there a person over there? Yeah. Can ask. ask yeah, him what? Can, like, if the road is getting any better. Well, the 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 bridge is just right there. Oh. But. Yeah, we can just turn around. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah sure I can go first yeah stopping is like and getting back going is like the hardest part I should have taken a time stamp and we started because <coughs> I only got an hour, so. So pro tip, don't try to go where you went before because you built up ridges. Those ridges are gonna make it hard for you to steer. Really? Go away from where you went before. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I actually thought it's the other way because if, if you go through the bigger parts where the snow is, it hasn't been cut. Well, there's, there's a medium. Yeah, you get a little more resistance, but you're not as likely to like lose control. Cause it's just like the ridge that's the issue. Whereas over here it's like flat. <laughs> Got some like, some sort of tracks. Maybe they're just dog tracks. <laughs> I don't know. Don't try to break on that hill. Yeah. If you, if you don't focus that you only have one wheel, you forget about you it. You have two wheels. Like, no, like one at this side. <laughs> And you just look at the road, thinking that you might have like four, four wheels in the car. <laughs> it's not as scary, and then you're like not afraid of going faster. Yeah. That's fair. I, I you know, uh, I always felt like the bike I had, I was like, I was safer on the snow on a bike than I was on a car. Really? Yeah. But well, you can just put your feet down if all else fails on the bike. I mean, but you can also like pull your face on a ground. Yeah, I mean, sure, but you're not gonna die from that. Uh, yeah. I mean, not wearing a helmet would be stupid, but because um, then probably you could die. But um, I mean, I've fallen, but uh, this is like not, it's not curvy enough to be a problem. You know, if we were like having to turn and stuff, then like, yeah. But just going straight, you just gotta keep going. That's the main thing. The part is the wheel. Sometimes the wheel twists and it hits you in the stomach. Like the wheel turns and hits you in the stomach. What do you mean? Like, okay. I've never been hit in the like stomach, this. so. And then you fall at the same time and it hits you in this area and you start like, it's hard to breathe. Well, don't don't turn. <laughs> Just keep keep use your arms. Use your arm strength to keep it straight.
Well, you're probably breaking if you're hitting it. I would never break on this stuff. Okay, so I don't understand how you're like the bike is not is going is stopping and you're still going forward. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. How bike is stopping? Well, yeah, because I mean, if oh. you're hitting it, that means that means that it's it's not going forward anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, I guess if it really turns sharp, but I don't know why it would do that. Anyway. Oh, you mean, is, is, are you talking about the wheel turning thing? Yeah. Well, you hold on to your wheel, but then at some point you're like, you, you figure out that you're falling, so you need to put your like, uh, legs on whatever grounds to uh. like, save your face. So you let go uh. of the wheel, and then you're like, I don't know. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I would, so, I mean, I guess what I would do, is I would like slide into it. So like you can you can kind of fall like intentionally fall. So like just I'll, I'll show you. So like if you feel it coming, you can just kind of like slide into it. You know, and I'm kind of turning it, but I'm not like sharp, you know what I'm saying? Like cuz you're going to bleed speed if you turn. But if you turn oh, like, sharp like this and then you kind of fall. No, no, no. Like you see how I just turned? Yeah. So like if you if you feel like you need to bleed speed yeah. rather than hitting the brake, which is a, like that's likely to fail, yeah. then just like do a controlled turn rather than like what then like your wheel coming out from underneath you. Yeah.